Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm testing this Asus NVIDIA gaming monitor that I got from the car boot so I paid £15 for it. It's a bit battered, it's got like a scratch here. I haven't uh, turned it on or anything yet, no idea if it works. One guy on um, YouTube, shout out to him, he's, uh, he's, he's been helping me out a lot. And uh, he, he said that this is a good gaming uh, monitor with a good refresh rate. So hopefully it is and uh, hopefully it works. I mean, let's see. So so it's an Asus uh, model number VG248 or VG248QE. So all right, I'm going to connect the power cable. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and see. I've got a Raspberry Pi here, so I'm going to get the... Trying to see if I can get the Raspberry Pi to display on here, so hopefully it all works. Give me a second. Okay, so all cables connected, Raspberry Pi connected. Let's see if it turns on. Oh, I've got a red light underneath here, that's a good sign. No explosions. Uh, nothing right now, I can't even hear any noise, it's dead silent. Okay, blue light's on. Oh, smash, look at that. Horrible. That's annoying, you know that. Obviously, the person that sold it to me would have known that, right? That's a joke. There's no... Was there a way of me telling? I don't know. Do I have a torch? I need a torch. Um. Okay. One second, let me get a light. Okay, so I can't see, like, I don't know, how would you know if there was a damage? Like, how could I avoid buying this again? That's £15 down the drain. Like, I can't see that it would be damaged. Obviously, there's that scratch there. But I can't see anything else that would indicate that this is damaged. I mean, the person that I bought it off, you know, it's like one of them, like, sellers, you know, Eastern European dudes... And his missus and they're selling out of a van. So you would expect the stuff to be broken from them. But I kind of I kind of just trust monitors. But that was a mistake. Yeah. Um, okay, so. No idea what to do with this now. Because I can see a, a slight image there. But I also don't. Okay, it's all blue. I don't think my Raspberry Pi is booted as well for some reason. That doesn't seem like that's booted. Let's try. Is it? I don't know. Red light, blue light. So this is one of those where it's not, I, I assume it's not really going to be possible to fix. I'd have to buy like another one of the same model and then one with a good screen, but something else wrong with it, and swap it. I'll still, I'll still take a look on eBay to see if it, if there is one, but I highly doubt it. Also, apparently these monitors are expensive, so yeah, yeah. I don't know what to do with it really. I mean, you can't. Uh, I don't know if you can feel something there. Not really. Okay, so I'm going to try and just see if, if I've got, like, if it's the Raspberry Pi not displaying a picture. I want to see if maybe I could still get an image and it just be damaged over there. That I wouldn't mind. I could still have a use for it without completely scrapping it. So if it's just there and I could still have a picture here, I'll be cool with that. I mean, that's not really nice, but still, at least I have a use for it for something. So let me try and see if I think the Raspberry Pi is not displaying an image. Okay, so it, it might have been a, a slight display issue with the Raspberry Pi, but I've got my laptop open now and connected. And when I drag the windows over, you can see it, it's there. So, yeah, it's basically, um, the, com the screen's completely mashed. I don't know. I mean, I don't know, maybe I could uh, take out the colour panels and uh, just have just the backlight and then just use it as like the source of white light i don't know no idea what i'm gonna do with this but yeah this is a dud so i'm gonna have to end this video here with a, a massive thumbs down and a 15 quid down the drain but 
is what age you live and you learn. I don't know if I'll be picking up one of these um, gaming monitors again. I mean, it's, it's probably worth it too, but probably not from these types of people. Until at least that, I don't really know what I could really do with um, broken monitors. At least with broken computers, there's, there's stuff that I could do with it. But I have no idea what I'd do with a broken monitor. So maybe I need to go get on Google and learn what to do with broken monitors. So then when I do buy them, it's not that big of a deal. Let me just give you a closer look at the damage. So you can see like the glass is smashed there, but it's not. It has a... It, the pixels, it, the damage looks like it's been smashed there, and then there's like a scratch here, and then you can see there's been a, de a dent there with a crack down here. But actually, touching it, you can't feel any of that. I mean, I can kind, I can feel a dent there, ish, yeah. But I mean, what that would involve, like, you'd have to probably just take your hand over the whole screen. I don't know if it'd be any different in daylight. I suppose you can kind of. I wouldn't. I can feel the dent there. Hmm. Imagine I really have to be standing there in car boots. I was just touching that monitors. Don't know. It's not great, man. Yeah. I'm just. I'm not bummed out really about the monitor. I'm not really too bothered. But what I am bothered by is um, how would I know what to do with these in future like how do I know how not to buy another one of these that's the thing so yeah if you have any ideas let me know or if you have any any ideas of what I could do with it let me know and then I might just chuck this on eBay myself first I'll have a look to see if there's any spares that are just broken but without bad screens if there are then I'll try and repair it um if there aren't then yeah maybe just chuck this on eBay for 15 quid Cool guys, alright, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll have more success in my other card mute self finds. Cool, peace.